And now we have the honor of hearing from two of your fellow graduates. I'm delighted to introduce Melanie Kerr, Master of Business Administration from Oregon. And then we'll hear from Rhoda Chisholm, Master of Health Leadership from Texas. Please join me in welcoming Melanie to the lectern. Hello, fellow graduates. I am beyond grateful and proud to be standing here today with all of you celebrating this amazing accomplishment. My journey began when my family and I moved to America from the Philippines. I was 13 years old. At an early age, I understood the sacrifice, time, and effort it took my grandmother aunt and uncles to bring us here to America. I made it my purpose to ensure I work hard on my goals to make their investment worthwhile. It is my way of thanking them for the life-changing opportunity they have provided me. I thought I had accomplished this goal back in 2016, when my husband and I took a leap of faith and opened our car dealership. Wow, looking back, what a brutal industry. <laughs> Especially for a woman in a male-dominated industry. Nevertheless, I went for it. We work seven days a week, 16 hours a day, and invested our entire life in our endeavor. We grew our business year after year, and eventually the dealership became part of our identity. Right before the pandemic, we decided to sell the business, which you could say was an unexpected curveball. The company had become bigger than us, and we knew it would not survive without additional funding. It was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. After selling our business, I lost my purpose, my mission, and my vision. I felt defeated. Eventually, my husband and I decided to move to Oregon and leave California for a fresh start. I was in search of my next purpose, my next mission. I soon realized what I have enjoyed the most while owning my own company were the people. Training and developing employees, creating strategic actions and procedure to grow the business. So I decided to go back to school and earn a degree in human resources. I researched many universities, and WGU stood out to me the most. WGU put students first, considering their experience through the competency model and providing continued innovation to provide the highest quality of education. I was impressed and I love the platform. I was in control of my education. It was such a rep ex refreshing experience, and I enjoyed it so much that I finished my bachelor's in human resources in seven months. WGU inspired me and gave me my next purpose, to achieve my dream of being an HR industry leader. I was so inspired and motivated that I came back to earn my MBA through WGU. I passed the two most important HR certifications, SHRIM CP and PHR, using all the knowledge I acquired through my education. Today, I am the Director of Human Resources for an aerospace manufacturing company, leading the organization alongside the CEO through this complex, unprecedented time and I would have not done it without my education at WGU. As I stand here today, I can't help but thank my family, especially my grandmother, Mar Maria, my Aunt Remy, my Uncle Boy, and my Uncle Ernie, for bringing us here to the United States and providing me with a lifetime of opportunities. And to the love of my life, my husband, Matt, for always being there for me. Life will always throw you a curveball, 
That's probably the only constant thing about life. As the famous Nobel Prize writer and historian Winston Churchill once said, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. As I look at every one of you, I see all walks of life. It does not matter about your past, your age, or how quick or how long it took you to finish your degree. What matters is your courage to continue when life throws you a curveball. And that is worth celebrating. Thank you.